welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I want to go over a couple of things as far as time management skills. So um, I've had actually a couple of requests to do a video like this um, for people who have like extremely busy schedules, for people who um, maybe don't know how to organize their day or how to go about certain things. Um, so I'm just going to give you a couple of tips. Tips. I'm going to give you a couple of tips. Um, for how to be the most productive and get everything done that you want to get done. Um, now I want to preface this by saying I am not perfect. I do things um, so that I can get them done. Sometimes I get everything done. Sometimes I don't get anything done. So it just kind of depends. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to change this setting because I feel like it's too flashy. Let's leave it on this solid. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I don't always, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect, um, but I do feel like there are certain things that I do or that you can do to help make sure that you stick to what it is that you want to accomplish. Um, so for me personally, um, I have, well currently I only have four classes because I finished my first four classes of nursing school, um, but before, so I was taking eight classes in nursing school, um, going to the gym, studying, cleaning, you know, just because you're in school doesn't mean that everything else stops. Um, so there's like cooking, cleaning, you know, if you have kids, you have to take care of your kids and stuff like that. I don't have any kids and right now I'm a per diem worker, so I'm not working full time like I used to. Um, but for anybody, I think these, the tips that I'm going to give you are going to be useful. Whether you have kids, whether you're going to school, whether you're working, whether you just have a busy lifestyle. So let's get into the video. <clears throat> okay, so I put down a couple of notes. So the first thing, and you're going to see this in any video that's talking about um, time management, trying to be productive, you are going to need a planner. Um, it doesn't have to be something crazy, it doesn't have to be something fancy, but invest in a good planner, like one that makes you want to write stuff down. And okay, so for me, I started using planners, I want to say, two maybe three years ago um and I actually saw one of the girls that I was working with she used a planner and it was like it was pretty thick it was like that thick I have one and I'll go sh I'll show it at the end um but you want to use a planner let me get it right now actually okay can you see me okay so this is my planner it's like marbly I think I showed it in my um nursing school supply haul video so it's this it's like a pretty pink and gray marble. When I got this one from Staples for, I want to say 20 bucks, but if you go on staples.com, they usually have coupons. Is it Staples? No, it's Michaels. Yeah, I got this at Michaels. Um, like I said, it's 20 bucks, and they have a whole bunch. Like, they're super cute. They're all kind of like this style, um, like this thickness, like this, you know, hefty. Um, they have different styles, um, and they're like super cute. They're not too expensive. And like I said, if you go on michaels.com, they usually have a coupon that you can get. I think it's like 15% off. I'm not sure if I find it. I'll try and link it down below. But this is literally my holy grail. Like this is for like my appointments, uh, my school schedule. If there's something that I need to do, like pay, pay a bill or like, so like when rent is due, when my phone bill is due, when my insurance is due, like all of that stuff, I write it down. Before I used to use my phone, and it worked for the meantime, but I feel like I would set alarms on my phone and I would never get notified and I would forget. Um, so I ended up getting this planner after I saw one of the girls that I worked with. She had gotten like a similar planner from Michaels and I literally love it. So like you have like a pocket for like important stuff. So like I keep my BLS card in here. Um, it comes with like stickers so that like you can customize it to you know whatever you want like if you want a reminder it has like this little folder where I usually keep important documents so like when I was registering for colleges I kept um some important things like I don't think it was my transcripts but like my BLS card like everything that was need that needed to be submitted or something like that I would keep them all in here so that way I'm not scrambling to find everything um and then they have like the calendar view you can't see it but um they, they have like the calendar view and then like they have the weekly breakdown 
So this I use, like I said, um, when I'm working because I'm per diem, I'm, I don't have a designated location that I go to every day. Um, so I'll usually have this, I'll put the day and where I'm going to be working. Um, and before I used to put assignments in here, but I actually did something else. And the reason, so the reason you want to have a calendar is because if you see it, you're going to remember, oh, like, oh, I have this too. And you can cross it off. So, but yeah, so you can like constantly look at it and not never miss anything. And you want to plan. So like planner is made for planning. So if you have like, so what I would do is like, if I have classes or if I have a new syllabus or if I have like a vacation or something coming up, I put it down. So that way, another thing that I used to do is I would plan to do two different things, not realizing, oh, I have something I'm already doing on that day. And I hate canceling on people. So you can also use it to, you know, like if you're going out with friends or if you have a dinner or something like that, put it down so that if somebody else asks you, like, hey, are you free this weekend? You can say yes if you're not available, or you can say no, like if you have something already planned. Like that is also another thing. It just, it just makes life so much easier because you're not like scrambling or trying to remember mentally, like you have everything written down. Um, so yeah, so this is what I use this planner for. Now, before, when I first started nursing school, like I said, I would put my assignments in here. Um, and then I found it to be a little bit too much because there's so many assignments that I have for so many different classes. Like I said, I was taking eight classes, so that was like a lot of stuff that kind of just took up too much space in my calendar. Um, so I actually ended up buying this. It's a notebook. It's like a little notebook that says gather your thoughts. I got this from Target, and this is where I put my assignments um, down. Um, but for here, like I'll write down all my classes, so like for this one, um, so for here, like, I'll have all my classes, so the first one's health promotion, and then I have my two assignments. And how you do this, or how I do it, is it goes based off what's due first. So like, let's say next week, I already have my stuff for next week. So I'll go to a new page, and what I'll do is I'll look at, so how... So this is specifically for my classes. So if you're in school, I recommend doing this or using your planner, just something that keeps you a little bit organized. Um, so what I'll do is I have Canvas that we use for my college. And what I'll do is I'll look at the Canvas and I'll look the week that's coming up. So like if today is Saturday, I'm going to look for next week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all the way to Sunday. And I'm going to write everything down that's due based on what's due first. So that way I know I have to do this one first. Then I'll do this one next, you know? So that way you're not like, oh, I did this one, but this one's due tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of keeps you a little bit more organized. And um, it just ensures that you're not going to submit something late. Um, so like I said, and then once you do them, I highlight it all. So that way I know that I already did it. And this also, I think mentally, like, it, it's like, okay, like, I'm getting everything done. Like, it's so satisfying, literally, like highlighting everything off. I'm sorry if you hear like the blow dryer or like anybody. Um, it's Saturday and we're all in quarantine. So um, so another thing that you want to do in order to remain productive and get everything that you uh, want to do is goal set. So like this can be either short term goals or a long term goal goals. You can write them down, write them in your planner, write them in your little notebook. And when you get to that goal, cross it off, you know, like it's so much easier to forget one of your goals if you're not seeing it constantly. So like if one of my goals is to, um, let's say for school, like finish my project early. If I see it every day, I'm going to constantly be reminded, Hey, like finish this, finish this. But if I don't see it, then I'm going to forget. And then it's, I'm not going to be able to get it done as fast as I wanted to do. Or like, let's say you wanted to be consistent in the gym, which is one of my goals too. You write it down, you see it constantly, and when you see it, you're like, it kind of holds you accountable. So like if you're mentally like, oh, I want to go to the gym, and then you don't see it anymore, you can get caught up in other stuff throughout the day because everybody lives a busy life. Um, but if you see it, it's kind of like, mm, okay, let me go to the gym because you see it. So it's also kind of like a, a motivator when you write stuff down. 
and then we feel good. Like um, recently, ever since the gyms have been opening back up, um, I've been going to the gym five, sometimes six days a week, just depending. Um, and I've so it, before it was kind of hard for me because I feel like I had so much schoolwork that I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't hang out. I couldn't go to the gym. I couldn't like even go to the store to get groceries. But this is where time management comes in. Um, and I'm going to touch a little bit on like, like specifically people who are in school and like stressing. So how I do it. So like the first two weeks of school, I was like always in this room. I never went out. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go to the gym. I didn't work out. I didn't go for walks. Nothing. I was literally in this room from morning to night. And the two weeks that I did that, I was exhausted. And I feel like I wasn't able to get anything done. Um... But you have to give yourself pockets of time to enjoy life, no matter how busy or how chaotic your schedule is. So now, and I feel like I'm so much more productive when I give myself free time away from school, away from any responsibilities. So like in the morning, I'll do my classes. Right after class, I'll like go over some lectures or I'll go over some notes or I'll do some assignments. As soon as it hits five o'clock, I step away and I go to the gym. Um, and I work out, I come back, take a shower, hit, hit the books again, like for an hour. Then I come out of the office and I'll like, you know, talk with my sisters. I'll like blast, like you have to learn how to like, not be so like stressed. And I know it's so hard because I'm the type of person that gets anxious when I have so many things going on and I'm not working on them. But that's like when you're doing that, it's so easy to get burned out. So like now I know like an hour studying, I'm going to go out that door. I'm going to listen to music. I'm going to dance. Like my mom, I live with my mom. And so like me and her will dance in the living room. Me, I'll talk to my sisters. I'll talk to my boyfriend or whatever. I'll watch like TV. I'll catch up on social media. And then once I've had like 30 to an hour of not even thinking about school, I'll come back. So it just depends. Like I feel like my attention span is short. So if I'm here for like more than an hour, it's redundant for me to even continue because I'm not retaining any of the information. That's that. Another way to be productive um, in school and in your study sessions, don't go to sleep late. Like I think the latest I go to sleep is like 12. But anything after that, if you're exhausted, you're not going to remember. So like, and you'll know. So like when you're studying or working on something and you feel like, ugh, like just tired and like, you know, you're trying to hold your eyes open, just go to bed, go to bed, wake up early and get it done the next day. Like it's okay if you don't get everything done the same day, but it's better if you give yourself that mental break and go to bed. So that way you do retain any information that you might've not because you're so tired. You know what I'm saying? So that's another way I uh, try to remain productive within my studies. Um, I'm trying to think. Let me, see, let me look at my notes really quickly. Um, communication, okay? This is another super important thing. If you are, if you have a busy schedule, if you're in school or if you have kids and you, you know, you work full time, you have to communicate with the people that you're around. So like if you're married, if you have a boyfriend, if you, if you live with, you know, your mom or your sisters, you have to communicate with them. So a lot of my family members know that if I'm in this room, it's probably because I'm studying or I'm in class. So they know. So I, I tell them, like, if I'm in here, don't come in because I need to re I need to remain focused. Um, I also communicate with my boyfriend, like, if I'm stressed um, or if I need him to do something, that's another thing. Like, if you don't have the time to do something, ask for help. Like... Like I said, in the beginning of uh, this semester, I couldn't, like, I was so overwhelmed. I couldn't go to the grocery store, so I'd ask him, like, hey, can you go to the grocery store and pick up this? Or can you pick this up for me? Um, and stuff like that. Like, don't be afraid to ask for help whenever you feel like you need it. So I guess the last thing I want to mention in order to be productive and to manage your time is have some sort of outlet to release some of your stress. So for me, it's going to the gym. And I'm not that type of person. Like I don't, I don't, I never was the type of person that like loved working out or like eating healthy and like all that stuff. I was not that type of person. But ever since um, we were all in quarantine, there's not much we can do. The gyms just opened up like a month, maybe two months ago. 
um, and we can go as long as we wear a mask and we have to like spray everything down when we're done. But like, since that's the only thing I really can do, that's what I've been doing and I actually feel like it's my stress relief. Like I don't think about anything um, and I feel good when I come out of the gym. Like I feel like refreshed. Um, I come to home, take a shower, put on some comfortable clothes and I get straight to, to doing whatever homework I have or studying. And it just, so I mean, that's not for everybody. That's, you know, if you like that, you know, find whatever it is that you like to do that relieves your stress. Another thing that I do that like kind of, is kind of like my zen, and some people like think it's weird, but like when I have a test, the day of, like I, I wake up, you know, whatever early, just like a normal early, not like early to study, but I wake up early, take a shower, I do my makeup, like I'm just like in my zone, because if by that time I don't know, or if I don't remember anything, then it, there's no way I'm going to get that information in my head in 30 minutes. So I just like to relax, do whatever it is I have to do, and then try to come into the test as anxious free because I get very bad test anxiety. Um, so that's another thing that I do to help like relieve some of the stress that I have, especially when it's with a test. Like I, I shake when I, when I, when I take a test, even if it's at home, it's, it's annoying, but, um, you know, find whatever it is that you like to do. Um, to help relieve your stress. Like for me, like I said, it's the gym, doing my makeup, hanging out with my family, um, and give yourself that time to be away from your crazy, busy life. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I mentioned this, but being organized, this is also, I think this is going to be the last thing that I talk about, but being organized, you have to be organized in order to, to be productive and to manage your time well, because if you're not organized, then everything is just going to be out of whack, even mentally. So, like, Sundays, like, usually at the end of the week is the time that I give myself to, like, clean everything. I'll fix my room. I'll clean the office. I'll wash my clothes. Like, usually it's, like, Sunday early in the morning or Sunday early, um, Sunday at night. It's just make sure everything is nice so that way you're not stressed because you're in an environment that's, like, not organized, you know? You want to you wanna be organized and you want to continue to be um, successful, I guess. Um, I think, I think that's it. Um, but yeah, I mean, just try it. When you get a planner, you're not going to be looking at it often. That was what happened with me when I first got my planner. I didn't really, I barely used it until one day, I think I wrote down something in it. Or when I started traveling, um, as a medical assistant, I would travel to different offices, and I guess ever since that, like, writing down where I'm going, what time I have to be there, that really, like, helped me, because I had to look at it every day, like, every day I was in a different office, and so that really helped me. It, it, don't be discouraged if you buy a planner and you don't use it a lot in the beginning. Just keep with it, and I promise you, you'll become addicted to it quick, fast. Like, it's, it's crazy, because I wasn't that type of person either, um, but yeah. But I think that's it that I have for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I wasn't all over the place because I feel like I always am, but whatever, that's just me. Um, like, I never say this. Like, comment, share, let me know what you guys do in order to manage your time best and to be, you know, organized and successful and, you know, and everything like that. So I will catch you guys in my next video, which probably in like uh, three weeks because this is the last three weeks that I have for school. Then we got finals and we got a break. So I will catch you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys later.